Kia ora i te no Nau mai, haere mai ki parakuahi. This is our first show of 2018. It is Monday the 22nd of January. Kia ora, it is great to have you with us. Morena, this is breakfast. It is 6 o'clock. Just ahead, Ma here, we have liftoff. Rocket Lab's Electron rocket has successfully made it into orbit. So what's next for the company? The rich are getting richer, much, much richer. The top 1% pocketed more than a quarter of the wealth created in New Zealand last year. So what does that mean for the people living at the other end of the economy? What does Canada have against our wine? New Zealand is joining forces with Australia to take Canada to the World Trade Organisation. We're going to explain why. Sorry, folks, the United States is closed. The government has gone into shutdown. Is it all Trump's fault? We'll cross to New York for the latest. Right now, it's 6 o'clock. Here's Daniel with your news. Thanks, guys. A very good morning to you. Kiwi company Rocket Lab is planning to expand after successfully launching its Electron rocket into space from Mahia Peninsula. They're now hoping to go ahead with one launch every month. Yesterday saw the rocket go into orbit for the first time. It's been dubbed one of the greatest engineering feats in New Zealand's history. Well, police are continuing the hunt for the driver of a vehicle that hit two people at a party in the Auckland suburb of Pace, running out of overs as they fell 16 runs short of the total. And Kiwi Stephen Adams, Oklahoma City Thunder, may have thumped the Cavaliers yesterday in the NBA, but it was a much closer affair in the halftime show. Take a look, supporters racing off their babies for a little mid-game entertainment. G.I. Charlie out crawling the other youngsters to take out the on-court race. Way to go, G.I. Charlie. That is too That is cute. very cool. That is your breakfast news and sports for six. Thank you, Daniel. You and now for the first time this year, it's time to cross to Maddie for the weather. Yeah, the first time this year, and unfortunately things have taken a little bit of a turn. We had such an epic summer though, didn't we? It was we incredible. Very beautiful weather, uh, but like I said, things have taken a little bit of a turn. Let's see what we are dealing with as we head around the country today with your weather. And it is a grey sky kind of morning uh, Monday in Southland and Otago, plus you'll get showers throughout uh, the day possibly even heavy ones around Dunedin and Wamaru this afternoon. Still some warmer temperatures in there, 28 degrees in Alexandra today. There's cloud cover from Milford Sound right along the coast and into Nelson with a few showers attached as well. They should ease by tonight though. You'll start the day off with a bit of low cloud around the east coast but for Timaru, Ashburton and Christchurch that'll clear for a fine arvo. Further north though there's wet weather expected after lunch. It'll be overcast around the North Island's east too, plus you'll see occasional rain set in mainly from this afternoon. You'll get that cloudy day in the lower north as well, plus it will be a rainy Monday for everyone. There's actually a severe weather uh, watch in Taranaki with heavy falls possible there. That wet weather continues into the Bay of Plenty. There's cloud cover with rain setting in this morning. Not too bad temperature-wise though, 24 the high in Whakatane and Tauranga. And just to round things out, overcast weather's heading for the upper north as well, plus there'll be showers peppered throughout the day, possibly heavy in Northland. And then looking ahead to tomorrow, rain for most of the North Island, with persistent falls around the central plateau. It will be cloudy in the South Island as well, with isolated showers mainly in the afternoon. I've got to say though, getting up for work this morning. Oh, it's it did, horrible. It, but it has made it easier with this terrible weather because I know that I'm not yeah. missing out on anything. Yeah, it's this fantastic. is true. Uh, at least, uh, Maddie, you had a little bit of sleep last night because there's one member of the team who probably did, <laughs> it's fair to say. Um, you might have noticed some changes on breakfast yes. this year. We have what? Uh, new year, new studio. Mm -hmm. New co-host. New co-host. Welcome, Welcome aboard. Thank you well, so much. How are you feeling? Where are the nerves at out of 10 this morning? Well, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm shaking a tiny bit. <laughs> yeah. But I got some really, really good sleep last night at about 10 past 2. Oh, good. <laughs> so, so an hour's worth of sleep. It is exactly. great to have you on board. Well, Thank you. I'm thrilled to have you here. Very happy to be and, here. And uh, looking forward to getting to know you a bit better uh, throughout the morning. We're going to be spending plenty of time together. And with you right now, it's 7 past 6 on Breakfast and Time for a quick look at the front pages around the world this morning to see what is making news. As expected... The government shutdown dominates the front page of the Washington Post this morning. It also says 58% of Americans are positive about the state of the US economy. Unfortunately, that is the same number as disapprove of Donald Trump's performance in the Oval Office. The Women's March is on the front page of the Chicago tri Tribune, as well as a pair of chefs who are pushing back at a culture of sexual harassment and bias within the restaurant sector. Over a 10-year period, women in food services filed three times as many complaints as women in industries such as finance or insurance. Boris Johnson says the UK should welcome Donald Trump. 
Good luck. That's in the Telegraph's lead story this morning. Johnson says the US provides Britain with its single most extraordinary economic relationship and they risk damaging the national interests of the UK by opposing the president. Around New Zealand's papers now and the Waikato Times front page is dedicated to a tuberculosis. Did I say that right? Yeah, close Something like that. Yeah. Outbreak in Kafia. On uh, one resident says the town should have quarantined over Christmas and now holiday visitors have been exposed. Three cases had been been confirmed around Christmas, and as many as three more may have contracted the disease. The Southland Times is leading with the cost of emergency treatment for injured tourists. The Southern District Health Board spent $1.4 million in the emergency department on non-resident patients, an increase of more than 19% on the previous year. And a number of businesses are leaving Central Nelson, saying rents are too high in the middle of town. Mm. The Nelson Mail has the story, with one of the businesses saying they're relocating to Queenstown, where they can get twice the space for the same price. That seems crazy. What? Um, Nelson's boom town. Yeah. I, I went to Nelson over, over Christmas. My family's in Nelson now. I, I mean, it's a great place. It's definitely booming at the moment, eh? I think but not like up. Queenstown. You wouldn't have expected so. That does sound insane. But there you go. It's nine past six on breakfast still to come. What is Canada doing to New Zealand wine imports? And is the gap between rich and poor getting wider? You bet it is. <laughs> to Tamaki Makoto. This is how Auckland is dawning this morning. Bit grey, bit of rain last night, eh? It's going to stay the same most of today. It'll be often cloudy, rain at times. North easterly winds and a high of Rua Tako Marina, 25 degrees. Let's check out Oreporti. This is how things are in Dunedin this morning. Bit cloudy as well in Otago. There'll be a few showers. They could be heavy this afternoon. You can expect a high in Dunedin of Ruatako Ma Toru, 23 degrees. To traffic now, and in Auckland, it's heavy from Drury to Takanini and building at Mount Wellington already on the northern. It's starting to get busy at Greville and then again at Tristram. Elsewhere around the country, nothing major to report as yet. Right, a quick look at the news you're waking up to this morning. Rocket Lab is planning one launch every month after successfully sending its electron rocket into orbit. Plus, police are searching for the driver of a vehicle that hit two people at a party in Auckland. One person remains in a critical condition. Our newsroom is getting you more details and we'll have that for you at 6.30. Back to you guys. Thanks, Daniel. Uh, hundreds and thousands of people across the US and around the world have marched in solidarity for women's rights exactly one year on from President Trump's inauguration. The main event will be held in Las Vegas shortly in a bid to encourage people to vote in future elections to create change. The ABC's Eva Pilgrim has more. Across the country. place. Then those oh, rules. Boring. <laughs> I, no, I'm with you, Maddie, because over summer we travelled to a number of places where there were polls and the signs mm. were up that you couldn't bomb Hawaii, it. Tahiti, was it? Well, the Fatawa no. family? No. Yeah. Um, or, the Coromandel. There was plenty yeah. of polls and they had the signs which said you couldn't bomb in the poll, but the kids, of course, ignored yeah. that and they yeah. did. I think it's PC gone mad. Why can't kids just be kids and bomb away? And I mean, providing it's not shallow, yeah. yeah, I'd do a good bomb. It's a New Zealand institution knowing yeah, how to do a is. bomb, but I wouldn't mind it being banned because I can't do bombs oh. and then I won't have to be shamed. <laughs> how can you not do a bomb? <laughs> no, exactly. What? I can do everything but that. No, hang on. You, I you don't literally can't it. do a bomb? No, I There's tried. What you do? You just go in with your bomb. I had brothers and three um, boy cousins yeah. and they were bombing all around me and I still could never learn. I'm surprised. Yes, I'm I'm might. surprised. I thought you were so coordinated. It's coming up to 6.30 on breakfast. Let us know what you think. Should bombs be banned in swimming pools? Breakfast on one is our Facebook page, breakfast at tvnz.co.nz. Still to come, is Donald Trump to blame for the US government's shutdown? And why? Why is New Zealand taking action against Canada over a few bottles of wine? The 
Welcome back. It is 6.30. It is time to go to Daniel with the news. Thanks, Hales. Well, good morning. Kiwi-founded company Rocket Lab is now planning to go ahead with one launch every month after successfully sending its Electron rocket into space from Mahia Peninsula. Yesterday saw the rocket go into orbit. For it seems but it also gives you an easy out, right? If they turn out to be super weird or creepy or whatever and they're messaging you, you don't have to feel bad about not messaging them back. Not that you necessarily would. Interesting. Uh, it's 17 minutes to 7 on breakfast. Still to come, the Prime Minister will join us for the first time this year. Plus, the US government is closed for business. How long will the latest shutdown last? Carry on. Morning, to Tefano. Let's check the traffic around the country. We'll start in Tamaki Makoto on the southern motorway. There's a crash partially blocking the right northbound lane at Papakura. So pass with care if you're travelling through there this morning. Another crash is also partially blocking the right lane just before Mount Wellington and the rest of the roads around Aotearoa this morning are pretty cruisy at the moment. Right, coming up in your 7 o'clock news, Rocket Lab is planning one launch every month after successfully sending its Electron rocket into orbit. And humanitarian charity Oxfam has revealed New Zealand's richest 1% pocketed more than a quarter of the country's wealth. I'll explain more in your 7 o'clock news shortly. Thank you very much, Daniel. And uh, we will be getting Peter Beck from Rocket Lab in after 7 o'clock this morning to have a bit of a chat about Rocket Lab's successful uh, launch yesterday. It really is incredible when you consider how far they've come over the last few years to, to have launched a rocket and, and successfully dispersed a payload in space. It's astonishing to think of where Rocket Lab could be in just a few years' time. I know ultimately Peter Beck and the Rocket Lab team are anticipating uh, releasing... Uh, a payload into space every week if they get their way, which would actually change the international space game. So Peter Beck will be with us after 7 o'clock, as will the Prime Minister. Now, if you've made your way to a swimming pool this summer... More Rene Tefano. This is our first show of 2018. It's Monday the 22nd of January. Kia ora. It is great to have you with us. Morena, this is breakfast. It is 7 o'clock. Just ahead. Rocket Lab has successfully launched their Electron rocket into orbit. So what does the space company have on its sights next? The Prime Minister's had a busy few days. She'll join us after the news. And it's an ongoing issue with no easy solution. But how do we get more GPs into rural communities? Right now, it's 7 o'clock. Here's Daniel with the news. Thanks, Jack. A very good morning to you. Oxfam has slammed the country's widening wealth inequality, branding it shocking and disturbing. Research from the humanitarian charity shows the richest 10% of New Zealanders hold almost 57% of the country's wealth. Meanwhile, the 1.4 million people who make up the poorest 30% of the country share less than 1% of the wealth. The charity says the government's tax working group needs to address the issue. Many New Zealanders pay taxes. It's not fair that a small proportion can avoid paying taxes. And most importantly, how do we help that 30% of the poorest part of the population be able to get a bigger share of that wealth growth? And news just coming in, two people have died in a house fire in South Dunedin this morning. Emergency services... Oh. In the scar Look, you get lost in the details. That's the thing with a beard like that, Maddie. I mean, a lot of people use a lot of things to uh, improve their look. I mean, we don't need to... I would have said... We, to don't, we don't need to... I would have said... To ...investigate the anything too much. That a lot of man, that's what people are saying I'm not this sure. morning. Thank you so much, Maddie. Hundreds of thousands of people have marched around the world, you cheeky thing, for women's rights this morning. Is enough being done here in New Zealand for New Zealand women's equality. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern joins us now from Martinborough for the first time in 2018. She's there for a Labour caucus retreat. Tēnā koe. Good morning Prime Minister and uh, on behalf of all the breakfast team. Morena. Congratulations. I think like the rest of New Zealand we are delighted with your news but we, we actually wanted to start with some other news this morning because I know you have been talking about your mm. uh, pregnancy ad nauseum over the last few days and uh, as we've seen this morning hundreds of thousands of people have taken to the streets in the United States for women's marches a year since Donald Trump's inauguration. What do you make of the movement? Oh I was looking at some of the images last night and they're extraordinary. Um, some of the uh, the aerial footage across those, those cities is, uh, really speaks to uh, the strength of feeling, obviously, from those who have congregated to make sure... That Again, guys, it is such a pleasure it. to speak. Thank and um, Hayley has done the maths for us this morning. <laughs> Not that it matters, but in 2020, the next election, oh she, she, she reckons the child is going to be at its cutest. 
And I'd say Clark will be at his tiredest. At his cutest. <laughs> I would hey, say at its most troublesome, actually. Yeah, so yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, hey, and right. also, congratulations, Hayley. Well done. Thanks, Clark. And, and to you guys, Hayley. too. It'll be good yeah. to see you next time. Thanks. All right. See you soon. Thanks. Next Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and her partner, Clark Gaither. Still to come on breakfast, can the Black Cats' golden run continue? And after the break, what next for Rocket Lab after yesterday's successful launch? Welcome back to breakfast for our first show of 2018 at 7.30. Here's Daniel with the news. Morena Oxfam has slammed the country's widening wealth. Why you think you should have a new doctor and what that new doctor can expect. Still to come, know anyone starting a new job today? <laughs> we'll tell you how to survive. Plus, will the Black Cats ever lose again? We'll look at their golden <laughs> run this summer. Oh, yes. <laughs> Jody Tefano, you're with breakfast. Let's check that traffic. In Tamaki Makoto on the southern uh, breakdown at Papakura has been cleared, but it's causing some big delays heading into the city. Hurrah! It's slow at Manuko, then again from East Tamaki to Green Lane. The northwestern motorway is heavy at Royal Road, also between Great North Road and St Luke's. There's a breakdown in the Waterview Tunnel this morning heading south towards the airport, so expect delays. And in Autotahi Christchurch, if you're travelling along Brougham Street this morning, watch out for any debris in the area. Work crews are working to clean this up. So in the meantime, take care when driving through. Yes. You could Google, like, oh, does a Venus flytrap eat flies or something like that. <laughs> it's, got to, it's got to be something a little more curly. Come up with a good question and we'll work it out. It's five to eight on breakfast. Still ahead, the new challenge for one of the Solomeo boys. Plus, the world reacts to Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern's baby news. So was all of it positive? Kia ora te whanau, no mai, haere mai, kia parakuahi for the first time in 2018. Welcome to the show, it is Monday the 22nd of January and it's great to have you with us. Morena, it's This Is Breakfast, it's 8 o'clock. Just ahead, the Prime Minister's having a baby, not sure if you heard about it, <laughs> but everyone has an opinion, surprise, surprise. What has the reaction been to the announcement? One of the world's best known operas is coming to the Hawke's Bay and one of our most popular singers is involved. Solomeo's Pene Pati will tell us about his next challenge. Are you starting a new job today? Um, yeah, someone no, 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 and yes. <laughs> well, we'll have all you need to know if you want to survive your first day. Right now, it's 8 o'clock. He's Daniel with the news. Thanks, guys. Morena, the Prime Minister has yeah, praised This is where you come. Thank you so much, Catherine. No, thank time. you for having me. She was early every other day this week, so it doesn't matter <laughs> one little bit. Hey, thank you so much, Catherine. Thank you, Hayley. Congratulations on your first day. Thank you so show. much, you have Jack. Done an incredible job. It's You're been really great. fun. A great year ahead on Breakfast in 2018. That's us for our first show of this year. We will see you tomorrow from 6 till then. Hey, Konera.